Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Surfer Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our favorite indoor facility with the Stoger STR9C. And now we have a red dot on it. Before, before we talk about that, I'd like to ask you to please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so we may continue to bring you the content that you guys really like. Okay, here's what we did. We have this STR9C that comes with, with all the plates and adapters for your red dots. So we first tried a True Glow red dot that is meant yeah, the, for the um, four post uh, pattern. There's different patterns. There's a four post, there's the RMR. But when we put the red dot on, it didn't take American screws. I had to go to the hardware store and f buy actually silver uh, Phillips head screws in M3. And I, I didn't like the way it looked. It worked okay, because they fit perfectly well, but I didn't like it. So I used the plate that for the RMR, and it took the American screws the, that come with the, this True Glow here. But we, the screws were too long, and Marty had to cut them down. That was That's something that it's kind of hard when you use uh, red dots with a plate because the screws sometimes that come with the factory are too long. So another detail that I must tell you guys is when you buy a red dot, before you buy, test, see if you can know a buddy that will loan you one or something. Because not all red dots fit the, um, the pistol that you're using. Not only fit as in, oh, it fits, it's an RMR, it should fit. Now, not all of them actually are able to have the range that you want to sight in. For example, this red dot is a really good red dot. It works great, and it's at the end of, this, of the range. So I had to move it all the way up. And it's not at the end, but it's close to be at the end for it to be sighted in. So with this mount and this red dot, the it's not perfectly aligned, it's a little bit too high. So I'm gonna to try to get a different red dot, but this one here is working perfectly well right now, but the plate that comes with it is a tad too high. So like I always say, just try to find one that fits your pistol 100%. Let's go ahead and try it. For this shoot, we're gonna use a Federal uh, Syntec range, 115 grain ammunition, and we're gonna do, we're about eight yards. So let's go ahead and try it. And you know what? It's doing really, really good. Um, another thing I must tell you too is most of this red dot should be sighted in at the distance of 15 yards. That's why because of the offset, I was having difficulty sighting it in at a closer distance. I bet that if I go to the 15 yards, it's gonna be, it's gonna have more range, it's gonna be able to be lowered. But at this time, at this distance, and remember at this distance, it's shooting dead on, but it's, it's almost all the way to the end in the height. But I tell you what, I'll sight it in at 15 yards and see how it shoots. But other than that, it's a great combination, both in price, because the pistol is priced correctly. It, you're looking at a pistol that is gonna uh, give you a high quality pistol for just a tad over 300 bucks, and a red dot that is within that range too. So you're not spending an inordinate amount of money to get your red dot uh, pistol ready to go. So like always guys, thanks for watching. Please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.